Hey guys, welcome to another 8-bit face-off kerfuffle. This week I'm taking a look at Kong Strikes Back by Ocean Software. Now this is kind of the sequel to the original Kong. Um, now I can't remember what's... There is a arcade game. What's it called again? I can't remember. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what it's called. But this is based on an arcade game. Which completely... It. Mr. Do's something ride or whatever it's called. Something like that. It's a Mr. Do game in the arcades. So anyway, let's crack on. This is Amstrad CPC 4641. Now the only version of this I ever played back in the day was the Commodore 64. And I actually quite liked the game. So let's see if we can get this going. Control keys, are we going to let... Oh, the space bar. Not oh, space bar there. Yeah, we certainly can. We can use the joystick. Now the idea behind the game is to basically Rescue Esmeralda, I think it is. Oh, 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 oh. But as you'll see there, you've got roller coasters which are flying around the track, so you've obviously got to try and be mindful of these guys. If you get hit with one of them, then it's game over. I'm trying to figure out, is that? That looks like a rather fat man, rather than uh, a monkey. <laughs> Graphically, it's, it's alright. It's not what I would term as superb. Functional, I think, would probably describe it better. Oh shit, I'm going to be struggling here. Quick. Now what you need to be careful of is you can hit your head on the, the wee cars above as well, so... Can you make it? Ah! Bollocks! There must be one boy here for completing a level. Alright, okay, I don't need to collect them again, but I've still got to get to the top. I don't know why the screen flashes like that. And then you try and hot foot it to the next little ladder. It's quite a simple game, but it's good fun. The Mr. Do's Wild Ride, yeah, that's just kind of coming in my head for some reason. Don't think I've actually played the arcade version of that at all. Right, let's just sit here, I think. And then run. I don't know how many tracks there are. No idea at all. Oh, I never found here. Yeah. No idea what happened. Oh, that was lucky actually. Oops. As you can see, it's fairly easy. Which isn't always a bad thing. I mean, games should be fun. Sometimes they make games just too difficult, especially 8 bit games. Some of the 8 bit games are just nigh on impossible. Anyway, that is the C. That's the Amstrad CPC 464 version. Right, next up is the Spectrum one. 
And it's got a rather uh, odd looking, uh, it looks like it's kind of, the, the monkey looks like he's doing some kind of dance thing. Anyway, right, let's uh, crack on, how do we? Ah, now, I see Joffa's uh, Smith's name is in the title, so I'm wondering, or in the high score table, he's in second place, I'm wondering if he was... Ah, there we go, Joffa Smith programmed this, so I would almost guarantee that this is going to be a good game. Right, how do we start? Joystick, press J for joystick. Uh, hang on, joystick, J, and then Kempston, bunk. One, two, three, four, I've done that. How do we start? Redefine keys, press S to start. Let's go. <laughs> right, this one obviously lacks any music, unfortunately, but... Oh, quick, 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 quick. I like the way the we, uh, the kind of bounce along the track. That is nice. I want you to stay there. Got to say, uh, I'm not overly impressed with Esmeralda or whatever her name is. it Daisy? I don't know. I don't know. She looks like some kind of triangle. She's got a big triangle dress on. Graphics are excellent. He actually looks a bit like, is it Hen House Harry? And uh, what's it called? Chucky Egg. I need to stay here. And Kong is completely absent as well. What's going on there? Right, let's run to the top. Don't want to get my head hit. Up, down, up. And we should get up here. There we go. Boof. Probably easier than the Amstrad one, I think. Because it kind of moves a bit slower as well. Let's just make a run for it. Can we get up there? Can we get up there? Yes, we can. Can we get... Oh, we need to get that quick. Graphics are excellent though, I've got to say. Right, come on, let's get around to you. Stay there. Yeah, it could certainly do a bit of music. That's. Ah, bolt. What happened there? How come? Why did I not die? Got no idea why I didn't die there. Don't know. There we go. Anyway, listen, that's a spectrum one. That's that's nice. It does need some music. But anyway, let's look at the last version, the Commodore 64 one. Right, okay, this is the C64 one. This is the version that I used to play back in the day, so let's batter on. Now, right away, it has got immense music. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this one is a lot harder than the Spectrum and Amstrad ones. Oh, he stayed in there quick. Oh, damn it. Yeah, the, the, the little cars move at a fair lick. What we need to do is just wait here. And you'll see here as well as you get four of them on screen right away. But the music really helps make this game in my opinion. Slightly different layout from the Amstrad and the, the Spectrum one as well. Oh, damn it, that was silly. I always find it quite interesting why they have three different versions and each version is completely different. Keep my head from getting hit, oops, there we go. Let's 
Let's see if we can complete this level. But the music is awesome. There's a little, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, I can't know, it's that thing at the shows, I can't remember. Waltzers, that's what it's called. Again, Kong is completely absent in this version. There we go, let's do one more level, I think. Ah, bollocks. <laughs> right, anyway, listen, that is the C64 one. Um, right, just to recap, Amstrad one is really, really nice, quite easy. Um, the Spectrum one, and the Amstrad one's got good music as well. Spectrum one is delightful, it's probably slightly too easy. Um, but it has a complete lack of music, which I think spoils it slightly. But without a shadow of doubt, I think the best version of this game has got to be the Commodore 64. So anyway guys, that is it. That's another 8-bit face-off kerfuffle. If there's a game you want to see me play in this feature, just put your comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching.